Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jojo. On this channel, I talk about my life story uh, in hopes to helping other people. Uh, if you'd like to stick around, we'd love to have you join the Jojo's Fan Bam. And thanks for stopping by. Um, to all my returning OGs, y'all already know I love you guys so much. You mean the world to me. You really do. You, you just, y'all don't know how happy you make me just by just wanting to hear my story. Um, I will say I do not glamorize, glorify, or think I'm big and bad because I'm in the prison. No. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Not this girl. Um, just want to help people. I love helping people. Um, with that being said, you know, I was sitting here in my car, uh, you know, oh, I'm waiting on my daughter. Um, I didn't want to go in with her to shop, so I wanted to wait outside. I'm okay with that because I look at my phone and I don't know. I'm just a patient person sometimes. Now, sometimes. <laughs> Keeping it real like I always do, y'all. But I was sitting here thinking like, you know, I'm so blessed, y'all, to have been able to come up out of what I was once in, um, you know, be, being, uh, in addiction, you have a blindfold on and being in recovery, you're, you know, the blindfolds off and you just, I just see so many people and it's sad, but then again, it's not because listen, let me tell you this and let me please, please listen to me. Anybody that has, anybody that's suffering from addiction or has a family member, loved one, friend, whatever, in addiction, that, if that person really wants to get sober wholeheartedly, that person's going to get sober wholeheartedly. I promise you. I promise you. And if they don't get sober, it's because they don't want to. They're, yeah, I was scared. I was scared out of my mind. Are you kidding me? I like scared out of my mind. My drug was my everything. I didn't think I could live in this world without being, you know, y'all know what I mean. I don't want my bit, my video to be demonetized. So <laughs> got to watch what I say. Um, but it, it's just so awesome to be sober. Like life is not a bowl of cherries or, you know, um, or anything like that. Life is hard, but life is what you make it. Like it really is. Life is what you make it. This world's hard enough, uh, living in it, being sober. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's hard enough be, uh, being in it sober, rather on uh, being uh, in addiction. It, it, people don't care. People are out for themselves in this day and age. They're out for themselves, um, especially people in addiction. Um, you know, they'll they don't care what they have to do to get that that high. Um, and like I said, some people, some people don't like, they don't feel sorry for people. And I do, but I don't, I'm like, you know what I mean? I, I do because I once was there, but I, and I don't because I know if I can do it, <laughs> if I can do it, anybody could do it. Okay. I'm telling y'all, um, yes. And another thing when you do get sober and you put one foot in front of the other, things start falling into place. It's like things that start just, you know, like I never thought I'd get my license back. I got my license, you know, um, I, 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 I found a good man. Not that I was looking. I was not looking for any uh, relationship at that time. 
but you know, sometimes hey, everything happens for a reason. I'm glad it did. I love my husband. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, I, I married, um, y'all, I didn't even marry my kids' father. Um, but that's because I knew he wasn't my forever. And I, some of y'all might be saying, oh, Jojo, you had all them kids with him. How wasn't he your forever? Because he wasn't. I, I got with him when I was younger. And when I grew up, I was like, oh, I don't like him. He is not. No, no, no. I don't like this guy. <laughs> but anyways, that's not what I, we're talking about. But things just start falling into place, y'all. Like, it, it just, it's so awesome. Um... And I give God all the glory. Like, if it wasn't for God, I would not be here talking to y'all right now. Like, I went through some things, and, and I'm still going through things even after f five years uh, clean and sober, you know. Um, still going through some things because of the addiction I was in and the things I did to my body. Um, still suffering from it. You know, I still um, get backlash on being an ex-con. Uh, I, I still get looked at because of my tattoos and, and you know, this stuff. Uh, not saying I wouldn't have got this tattoo if I wouldn't have been in addiction because I love my tattoo. But I probably wouldn't have got it on my face. But I do love my tattoo. Um, and if I could afford it, <laughs> I would have, like... I mean, I would have sleet, sleeves because I love body art. It, I just love body art um, and colorful things, you know. Um, but yeah, y'all, I was just sitting here thinking, like, I want to talk to my people about, you know, if you have a loved one that is struggling, all I can tell you is to keep praying keep loving them even if you gotta love them from a distance show them um tough love don't be an enabler don't be an enabler um and if they want to get sober they will um and if you yourself is struggling <sighs> let me tell you something it gets sober it's so worth it. I'm telling you. Um, it's so much easier um, in ways. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just, it, I know you're scared. Now, this is to someone that I'm talking to, whoever right now is suffering with addic addiction. I know you're scared. I know you don't want to, you don't want to go through the sickness. But even if you have to uh, put yourself in the hospital, y'all, I was doing so much. I literally had to be admitted in the hospital and helped. And that's what I did. Um, even if you have to do that, there's plenty of treatment programs out there. Uh, not treatment programs, hospitals that have you stay like three to five days, depending on sometimes maybe a week, depending on how bad your addiction is. I had to stay a week. Um, and they'll help you. They'll be there for you. Um, you know, even if you have to do it like that, um, don't go to no, you know, uh, Dome Clinic. If y'all know what I'm talking about, Dome Clinic. Yeah. Um, don't go to no, none of them because that, no, no, we all know what that's about. Um, a sub clinic. Um, yes. Uh, and, and get tapered off. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do. And you know yourself if you want to get sober or not. You know, you know, and God knows you could tell anybody anything, but you know, and God knows. So that's all I got to say about that. But I will tell you, um, things will start falling into place. It's going to be hard, but you can do it. Um, I wish I had videos and stuff of me, um, 
when I was in addiction, you you could see. I mean, I have a I have some older pictures. I might one day I'll show y'all. You know, you could tell in my my eyes, my face. You could tell. Um, I don't know, y'all. Um, I just I just wanted to make this video. Um, and let whoever who whoever's struggling with the addiction or has someone they love, you know, struggling in it, that it can be done if you want it wholeheartedly. You, you'll do it wholeheartedly. So when you want that D-R-U-G, you want it wholeheartedly and you get it, right? Same with getting sober. If you want it wholeheartedly, you're going to get it. Um, and I also wanted to let y'all know why I was MIA is because um, I don't want to cry off my little makeup and I'm not going to do it. Um, <laughs> um, I have, you know, from being... Um, an addiction so long, um, you know, my, I, I have, um, a chronic liver disease and it makes my, you know, sometimes, uh, my, my white cells will go up and my, my legs will swell. Well, I'm going to put in a clip of my legs what they did and I didn't go to the hospital. I'm hard headed. Yes, I'm still hard headed. <laughs> I'm still hard headed, y'all. I do not like hospitals. I don't. Um, but I was like hours away of going to the hospital. Seriously, I was hurting so bad. Um at Naperson, uh and I really don't even like taking them, but if it if it's bad enough, I will take a naperson. It didn't help. My husband, God love him. I love you, honey, if you're watching this. My daughter, I love you, baby, if you're watching this. Uh they they my oldest daughter and my husband, they helped me. Um, like my husband propped my legs up. My 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 daughter Carrie would, you know, massage, like get the blood flowing back back in my legs and stuff. Sorry, y'all. I had to take a phone call. But I'm going to put in a clip of what my legs look like. And this is one of the reasons why I cannot work a job. I can't sit too long. I can't stand too long. I can't walk too too far. Uh, basically, I don't know. This is why one of the reasons why I am disabled. Excuse me. And, um, so a lot of people want to know what kind of job I do. Well, <laughs> um, YouTube, I don't get paid much because my videos don't get, um, that many views, but listen, I believe in this girl right here and I know I'm going to make it really, really far in YouTube because my heart's in it. Um, and also because I, I mean, you know, it ain't all about the money, y'all. It's not. I mean, come on. I, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm not making hardly anything right now. Excuse me. But um. But if if I can make money from it, why not? You know what I mean. Um. So. And speaking of that, please thumbs up this video um, right now if you haven't already. Um. It helps a lot. It help. Uh, I can't say that word too good. The al algorithm, um, you know, it help YouTube show my my YouTube channel more on on to other people. And and please share and share on your wall and comment and all that good stuff. Um, help you girl out. Um, help you girl. Uh, dreams come true. <laughs> um, so here's some pictures and I will tell you the little ones don't, it, it's kind of graphic. I mean, it's, well, it's, it is what it is. It's sad. It's really sad. I, I, I looked at the picture of my legs the other day and I just cried. Um, yeah.
but my legs swell up a lot, but they don't get like this. This is the first time, well, the second time. The first time it's ever got this intense. Here, let me let you look and then I'll I'll be right back. Hold on, look at these pictures, y'all. I know, right? I was sick, y'all. I had a, like, my legs had a fever. I had a fever. Um, I, I was sick. They would have kept me in a hospital. And I didn't want to be away from, I didn't want to be away from my family. But um, they kept telling me, well, we don't want you to be away from us either. But we don't want you to, you know, either. You know what I mean? Um because it said, when we Googled it, it said that if your legs is intense red like that and it has a fever, you need to get to the emergency room like now, but I didn't. I know, I'm hard-headed. I really am. Um, but I propped my legs up and I prayed about it and it got better. But, uh, yeah, so, um, if you've made it this far, y'all, uh, let's see, give me a, what kind of emoji, uh, give me a little doggy emoji, yes, little doggy, little puppy, doggy or kitten, doggy, doggy emoji, <laughs> Um, or some type of animal emoji. Just, we'll just keep it simple. How about that? Um, but yeah, y'all, um, I don't know, uh, I don't know why I, I um, out of the blue, I was just like, I want to talk to my peeps. <laughs> and, um, the wholeheartedly thing was, was weighing on my, my heart to, uh, Someone needed to hear this today. Somebody, multiple people needed to hear this today. Y'all, y'all already know I love ya. Um, be kind to yourself. Listen, you've got to love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Take care of yourself because in, at the end of the day, all you have is you, you cutie. You. It's all you have is you. And God, uh, love yourself, be kind to yourself, love others, treat others kind. And let me tell you, hold up, wait a minute, let me put some neck rolling in it. When I'm kind to somebody and they're rude, sometimes... It breaks loose, and I got to tell them about their self. But other times, I'm like, God loves you, baby. I'll be praying for you. But, oh, Lord, the sun's getting in my way now. Y'all, so, sorry. Um, but I love y'all. I hope y'all are having an amazing day. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to start going hard on my YouTube vlogging. Um, still doing, uh, someone asked, uh, before I let y'all go, someone asked, are you still going to be doing the storylines on, on, on YouTube, on your channel? And I'm like, yeah, of course, of course. Um, that's the original thing I'm going to do, but I'm going to throw in vlogs and maybe me cooking something, you know, uh, here and there other than a prison recipe. You know what I mean? That's, the, that's my main stuff, prison recipes and talking about prison and addiction and stuff. But I'm, I, I am going to throw in vlogging and stuff like that, uh, just to mix it up. Um, but I'm going to start going hard heart wait till y'all see what i'm getting to to spice up my my little channel and stuff and also if y'all wondering what happened to my outro my intro i got a new phone i had an iphone i got i got an android back and kind of lost it um i have it i don't know how to 
I don't know how to retrieve it onto my YouTube, to my editing. I don't know how to do all that, but I'm trying because I love my little intro with my family um, and stuff on it and the little, you know, the song and stuff that's on it. I love that little thing, but I still have it and I'm going to try to get it back on there. Oh, I will get it back on there. Um, so I just wanted to throw that in there. But when you go out next time, yep, you already know. Give someone a compliment, smile at someone, you never know, you might save their life. Y'all, I love you, and until next time, mwah, bye!